Ink transitions are a pretty cool effect. Well, let's see how to do it in Resolve. First thing you want to do is have a couple clips. In this case, I picked two clips that I'm going to use to transition uh, between. The next thing you want is some stock footage with the ink effect transition. So here's the stock footage that I have. I'll also leave a link below, but you can search on the internet for any uh, relevant stock footage to use. What you want to do with this is you want to right click on it and add it to the media pool as a mat. That's very important versus just dragging it into the pool. Okay. So you'll notice this little indication here, which shows that it's a mat on the end. Okay, so if we go now into our edit tab, and we will go ahead and uh, add our two clips. And I'm actually going to extend this. This is just a time lapse. I'm just going to extend it out and group it just so that it has enough time. Go into our color tab. Okay guys, so all we have to do here is go into our node section, right click in the space, click add alpha output. Then we're gonna right click on the clip here, the main clip. We're gonna select add mat, timeline mats. And then there's the file that we set up uh, just a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, okay? So now we just need to connect this to the output. And there we have it. So if we were to advance through this, you could see it uh, transitioning accordingly. Now let's say we want to have this uh, inverted. So we select this external mat, we go to the key here, we uncheck the lock mat, and then we can actually flip it. So we can actually have it transition from the top instead of at the bottom or vice versa. Okay? You can also obviously flip it horizontal as well. And you can adjust the size accordingly. Okay? So that's all you've got to do. Uh, just put that into your uh, future transitions for your videos and uh, have fun with it. So if you got any questions, please leave them below. Otherwise, if you're not already a subscriber, please do so. And if you really like this, please like it. If you didn't like it, uh, click unlike twice. Peace.